guys! What's up? So today I'm going to be playing Evil Apples, which is a game that I have on my iPhone. And if you don't know, Evil Apples is basically just Cards Against Humanity on your phone. Because currently Cards Against Humanity does not have their own app. So I went ahead and downloaded this one. And I downloaded all of their expansions, which include ones like 9 to 5, The Office, Addictions, Adulting, All You Can Eat, Back to School, Rick and Morty, butt stuff, more butt stuff. So it has a bunch of cool little like expansion packs. So I went ahead and downloaded those for $10 because it's on sale right now. And we're going to go ahead and play because I freaking love playing Cards Against Humanity. And whenever my friends and I get together and we're drinking, this is our go-to game. So you have the option on here to play with your friends or play with strangers. So I like to play with strangers because it makes it more interesting. Okay, classic. All right. What does my girlfriend like? A solid gold toilet, warm vanilla sugar body mess, an intellectually constipated fuck face, <laughs> walking in on mom and the mailman, period sex, ew. Losing your grasp on who you are and what is real, and the audacity of hope. What does my girlfriend like? Hmm. Let's go with warm vanilla sugar body mess because I feel like that's something a girlfriend really would like. Not me because I don't like that shit. Grandma's porn box. Sex with a talented alien. A cigarette after sex. Aw oh, man, those are all really good. Damn. I would have gone with sex with a talented alien. I mean, who doesn't? I don't know why they take so long. Like, they're like really contemplating this right now. They're like, what does my girlfriend like? Oh shit! I won! Okay, cool beans. Why am I still single? Oh my god, this is awesome. <laughs> a pretty little pink butthole. A solid gold toilet. An intellectually constipated fuck face. Okay, walking in on mom. Losing your grasp, the audacity of hope. Why am I still single? Let's go with an intellectually constipated fuck face. I feel like that would keep you single for a while. Why am I single? Dropping off your date at his ex-wife's house. Death row. Shoving mega seeds way, way up your butthole. Yeah, that was a good one. Don't leave him in there too long because it'll cause seizures. All right. Oh, so this is my turn. I'm the judge now. Yeah. Blank. My wife's new nickname for me. Oh shit. Okay, this one will be fun. I can't wait to see what they come up with. I feel like this is so much more fun because like I'm playing a game and like talking to you guys and like sharing bits and pieces of my life like in between reading some fucked up shit. I mean, I feel like that's how you should communicate with your friends. Ooh, my wife's new nickname for, for me. I was gonna say for my penis. <gasps> Tiny Rick! My wife's new nickname for me. Coital alignment technique my poop trap virginity pledges um we're gonna go with tiny rick my god my friends and i we call me shelly brick because i burp like so much like a ridiculous amount bill gates has put all his money into a charity that supports drug addicted babies oh my god that's actually something that like people would do so a pretty little pink butthole a solid gold toilet walking in on mom and the mailman um Go with drug addicted babies oh it says supports drug addicted babies like we don't like we're not pro drug addicted babies but we'll we'll help take care of them all right so what they get drug addicted babies embarrassing noises coming from your lover's bathroom hood rats and the flint michigan water crisis oh my god that one's gonna win that's a good one damn seriously that's not even funny I lost a Billy butt face. Okay, cool. A quickie with the flash. The final step towards enlightenment. <clears throat> Ooh, I like that one. Losing your grasp on who you are and what is real. The final step towards enlightenment. I feel like that shit could be very legit. Just got deep up in here. Getting your dog high. The final step towards enlightenment. Blue balls, the final step towards enlightenment, or shoving, sh shoving, oh my god, shoving coffee grounds up your butt. Oh my god, I won. 
See, it got deep. Nice. Zach got getting stuck on It's a Small World ride for 17 hours for Christmas because he accidentally sent his wish list to Satan. Oh my, oh my god. That is hilarious. A quickie with the flash. A solid gun. You know what? I'm going to go with walking in on mom and the mailman. I think that's funny. I feel like if you did accidentally write like, dear Satan, I hope the mailman brings me something cool. Oh, he's going to give your mommy something cool. Zach got a blind date with a stranger. Zach got an overweight hipster for Christmas because he accidentally sent his wish list to Santa or to Satan. <laughs> Hell yeah. That shit was funny. All right, I'm in the lead. Many scholars agree that the Pope's dick is what led to the fall of Rome. <gasps> oh my God, it all makes sense. Okay, that is so fucked up though. Maybe, maybe many scholars agree that a little, a pretty little pink butthole is what led to the fall of Rome. Let's go with the Pope's dick. Many scholars agree that hot anime girls is what led to the fall of Rome. Shaving a cow's butt and riding it into the sunset is what led to the fall of Rome. I think the Pope's dick is gonna win. If you know what I mean. Alright, come on. It's not that deep. Really? Okay, I don't think that one was funny, but whatever. Whatever. Not even Jesus can forgive blank. Oh, it's my turn. Cool beans. All right, not even Jesus can forgive cock blocking. That's true. Like, why would you want to cock block your friends? You guys are assholes. All right, not even Jesus can forgive people who believe every word of the Bible. Oh my God. Oh, that's so good. Not even Jesus can forgive open mouth kissing grandma. Oh shit. These are all so good. And I like really thought I was going to go with cock blocking because like cock blocking because like who doesn't think that's funny, but like you gotta go with the Bible one because like it actually like kind of made sense. You know what I mean? Like they go together. Jesus and the Bible go together. Religion with Shelley. The road to hell is paved with developing breasts and magical powers. I feel like that would be the road to heaven. So getting stuck on it's a small world ride for 17 hours. A quickie with the flash. Um, it's paved with getting stuck. Let's go with that one. Irritable bowel syndrome. Lysdexia. That's fucking funny. Getting stuck on it's a small world ride for 17 hours. God, my battery's gonna die. No. <gasps> Come on, people. I'm not even gonna make it. Oh shit, I won! Okay, Disney presents Blank on Ice. I'm going to pause this real quick and I'm going to get my other battery. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, so I picked the deepest the imaginable. <laughs> and I didn't win. So maybe I shouldn't have gone with that one. But I was literally in a hurry because I was trying to plug my camera back in. Let's get it together, okay? You can't have love without mass genocide. You can't have love without developing breasts and magical powers. I feel like that's so legit. You can't have love without the audacity of hope. Oh my God, I feel like that's so fucking deep. Yes, hand me down underwear, the audacity of hope, the penis game. I don't know, I feel like I got this one. So the penis game won, which is stupid because that's just not funny. Okay, no shoes, no shirts, no blink. I get to be the judge. No shoes, no shirts, no a plumber's crack. Cute baby otters. Oh my god, no! I swear, you are such an asshole if you ban cute baby otters. Let's go with no a plumber's crack because I'm so tired of seeing you guys' asses. Everyone knows the best online dating profiles mention your dad's Facebook page at least once. Mass genocide. Developing breasts and magical powers. Everyone knows the best online dating profiles mention a pretty little pink butthole at least once. We're going to go with that one. I've never had a dating profile, so I wouldn't know. But if I did and I'm trying to get someone, I'd be like, yeah, pretty little pink. 
big old titties. Big old titties lost to a pretty little pink butthole. Dudes who drive really big trucks love reproducing with an alien. Your dad's Facebook page. Mass genocide. Developing breasts and magical powers. Period sex. Let's go with dudes who drive really big trucks really love your dad's Facebook page. Because I feel like dads just kind of like trucks and stuff. Fuckling. What is fuckling? Let me know what the hell that is, because I don't know. Oh shit, I won. Humping a camel. I still don't know what fuckling is, though. That could have been a good one. Who knows? I'm glad... <laughs> I'm glad we have interns in the office, but I usually just ask them for help with your sweet little candy ass. I usually ask them for help with your sweet little candy ass. Anal suppositories. An airtight balloon you farted into when you were 10. Anal suppositories. That was a good one. I get it. You know, that's usually what interns are for anyways. Blank is always the best part of family get togethers. Oh, oh, they're, yeah, alcohol, probably. Waving your dick in the wind is always the best part of family get-togethers. If you're a hillbilly. A shady landlord is always the best part of family get-togethers. A bucket of five alarm ghost pepper hot wings is always the best part of family get-togethers. None of these are funny except for the waving your dick in the wind, so I'm just going to go with the hillbilly answer. Billy butt face. That's the kind of shit I expect from Billy Buttface. If you're not comfortable with legal weed, then I suggest you leave right now. Oh my God, I'm just gonna put that right there. I suggest you leave right now. That's awesome. I like that one. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get that one. Good luck beating that, bitches. If you're not comfortable with Hugh Jackman jerking off on an if you're not comfortable with a hotel room covered in blood and semen, then I suggest you leave right now. That beat legal weed? Damn. This bitch is crazy. Right there. You see that constellation that looks like the forest moon of Ender? Reproducing with an alien. That looks like... I don't have anything... <laughs> I don't have anything good right now. Let's go with that one. Just some guy fucking an alien. Right there. You see that constellation that looks like a rescue helicopter crashing in a forest fire? That's the Big Dipper. Right there. You see that constellation that looks like Sister Mary masturbating? That's the Big Dipper. I can see that one. Yeah, that was a good one. Hang on. What were we talking about is the most important part of any balanced breakfast. I feel like we've all had that breakfast. Let's go with developing breasts and magical powers. Curdled breast milk, straight munch and rugs 24 seven. I feel like that one's gonna win. Like, just because it's funny. Just straight munch and rags, rugs, rags. <laughs> oh man, obviously I can't read. Curdled breast milk, that's disgusting. All right, so I'm the judge again. Next year, our school district will incorporate blank into the curriculum, so I'm definitely switching to homeschool. All right. Next year, our school district will incorporate showing up drunk for the SATs into the curriculum, so I'm definitely switching to homeschool. Damn. Paranormal activity and gay Hitler. Showing up drunk for the SATs, I feel like, would not keep me home, but it's like the only thing that has to do with school. So I'm gonna go with that one. What is Kim Kardashian's claim to fame? The guy that pumps the keg at parties. Hang on, what were we talking about? The forest moon of Ender, mass genocide. I don't feel like that's her thing to, period sex. That's gross. We're not going with it. We're gonna go with, hang on, what were we talking about? Trying to impress a bunch of eighth graders. Picking a fight with a honey badger. Okay, whatever. I wish I would have had butt stuff. I feel like that one would have won. The end of the world will certainly be caused by mass genocide, maybe. That's the only one that has to do with the end of the world. The ghost of Patrick Swayze. That asshole at table 17 with the fucking gluten allergy. Oh my god, I feel like that's the one. That one's gonna win. That's fucking funny. That's what I would pick. I wouldn't even pick my own card. 
I would pick that one. The Ghost of Patrick Swayze. I mean, I feel like you could have picked a funnier one, but whatever. I have a $5 foot schlong hanging on my bedroom wall. God, these suck. I'm just going to put a $5 foot schlong. I have a 40 year old virgin. Counterfeit Chinese iPhones. Yeah, that one won. That makes sense. Oh, now we're tied. Me and Billy Buttface and Coco's right there. Shit. My favorite... Oh, they're gonna win. My favorite Kama Sutra position. Alright. Uh. -uh. Shelly Brick. Oh, what do we got? My favorite Kama Sutra position. A baby's hand. Scrubbing the underside of an old lady's boobs. I feel like that could be a funny name for a sex position. Ancient Chinese medicine. Let's go with scrubbing the underside of an old lady's boobs. Shitty jobs. Yeah, you can't control the short bus. Kate Middleton. The guy that pumps the keg at parties. You can't control him. You can't control period sex. That's disgusting. I don't I can't pick that one for anything. I just can't get past it. Let's go with the guy that pumps keg. I'm going to lose. You can't control a Swedish made penis enlarger. Hobo romance. Fuck. Hobo romance just won. Like, that's funny. You can't control hobo romance. Which one did they pick? Yeah, that was good. All right. Billy Buttface, good job. All right, guys, that's all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and all that fun social media stuff. And until next time, bye guys!